Hi, and welcome to Top Farmers Know How. I'm Kim. In this instalment, we'll cover off what to do if you have scouring calves. Despite your best efforts to prevent it, it's possible that you'll see some scours this season. Scours is a heartbreaking thing to try and manage, and everybody hates having sick calves. So to keep scours under control, it's important that you know what to do right from the start. On a herd level, Aim to treat less than 10% of your calves for scours and target a pre-weaning death rate of less than 3%. It's helpful to record electrolytes and scour treatments in a book in the calf shed so you can monitor how many calves you've treated. If you're treating more than normal or if you have a spike in scours cases, it's worth investigating. At the first sign of a problem, review your calf hygiene and colostrum management practices. Check out our other top farmers videos on these topics. So, how do you know if a calf needs to be treated for scours? Well, a calf might have a scours causing disease and should be looked at more closely if it shows any of the following signs. Reduced appetite, lagging behind others in the pen, standing hunched up, having drooping ears or sunken eyes, a dirty bum or liquid or bloody feces. If a pen of calves all has loose faeces following a diet change but is otherwise bright, it could be nutritional scours rather than a disease outbreak. If you're unsure after examining suspicious calves, ask your vet for a second opinion. Any calf which has loose faeces and is showing signs of dehydration such as sunken eyes, a weak suckle reflex or skin that stays lifted when you pinch should be put in a sick pen and treated for scours immediately. If you think you're having a scours problem, get your vet involved straight away. Ask them to come out to your farm. They may be able to identify the pathogen that's caused the outbreak and they'll help you put systems in place to prevent it from happening again. If your vet can't come out straight away, you can begin investigating by collecting fresh faecal samples from as many calves which have started scouring in the last 24 hours as you can. Collect each sample in a separate plastic bottle or use a clean glove to scoop up or catch each fresh sample. Turn the glove inside out, not the top. Label the bottle or glove with the calf's tag or pen number. Take the samples into your vets for testing, preferably within a few hours. Scouring calves die from dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, so correcting these is the most important part of treating scours. A moderately scouring calf needs at least 6 litres of fluids each day and a severely scouring calf needs at least 8 litres of fluids each day. Half of this volume should be from milk or colostrum and half from electrolytes. So alternate 2 litre feeds of milk with 2 litre feeds of electrolytes, separating the feeds by a few hours. Tube scouring calves that won't drink and if a calf is so sick that it has no suckle reflex and can't stand up, it needs either to be given IV fluids by your vet or it should be humanely euthanised immediately. From day one, all calves should have access to as much clean water as they want to drink. But scouring calves should also have ad lib access to electrolytes overnight when the interval between feedings is the longest. This will allow mildly dehydrated calves to rehydrate themselves before they get any worse. It's a good idea to use a commercially available electrolyte formulated for calves to ensure consistent quality. Always follow label mixing and feeding instructions. Electrolyte products all contain slightly different ingredients and joules of energy, so talk with your vet about which one they recommend. In general, you get what you pay for. Some scouring calves may also need injectable antibiotics to treat bacterial infections or an anti-inflammatory drug to help make them feel better faster. Ask your vet what drugs to use and when and check with your vet that you're giving the right dose and treating for the right length of time. We've covered a lot of information in this video so here again is a brief summary of what to do if you have scouring calves. Isolate individual scouring calves or pens of scouring calves as early as possible. Ring your vet if you're not sure whether a calf has a nutritional or an infectious scour. Check your hygiene and colostrum management practices. Watch our other Top Farmers videos for more information about these topics. Get your vet involved straight away to help you contain the current outbreak and prevent an outbreak from happening again.
alternate milk and electrolyte feeds to scouring calves, providing six to eight litres of total fluids each day. Tube calves if they won't drink. Treat scouring calves with other medications as prescribed by your vet. Check with your vet that you're using them correctly. I really hope you don't need any of this advice this season, but if you're prepared to respond at the first sign, then you'll minimise the impact of scours in your calf shed.